hello everyone let's provide the solution to this problem 3x to the power of x equals 3 to the power of x plus 10 okay so this is what we want to deal with what do we do in this case we are going to work on the right hand side here so that we have 3x to the power of x equals 3 to the power of x multiplied by 3 to the power of 10 okay so that if i pick one of the bases i will add the powers according to one of the rules of um, indices or the laws of indices now what can I do from here? I can decide to divide this by 3 and divide the whole of this by 3. So that this is cancelling this. And then x to the power of x is equal to... From here, this 3 cannot cancel this. But we know that this has power of, um, of 1, right? Okay. So I can decide to combine this and this so we have 3 to the power of x multiplied by 3 to the power of 10 minus 1 okay so i picked this 3 to the power of x then picked one of these and subtracted the powers so that x to the power of x is equal to 3 to the power of x multiplied by 3 to the power of 9 this is what we have and now from here what do I do I'm going to divide both sides by 3 to the power of x divide the whole of this by 3 to the power of x now this is going to go with this so we have from x to the power of x over 3 to the power of x being equal to 3 to the power of 9 but mind you because we have the same power here we can combine the bases x over 3 then the powers will now turn to 1 okay this and this are the same right so this is equal to 3 to the power of 9 what I'm going to do is to take the log of both sides so we have log x over 3 to the power of x equals log 3 to the power of 9 and you know what happens to the power the power would always go behind or the power would multiply the log so we have x multiplied by log x over 3 and this would be equal to the power is 9, so we have 9 multiplied by log 3. Okay, so this is what we have. And then, mind you, from here, remember this 9, I can break it into 2. So I have x log x over 3 equals 3 times 3. Then we have log 3. Now what will I do? I can divide this by 3. Then divide the whole of this by 3. Right? Now this will go with this. Now this 3 here, can I can rewrite this as x over 3. Then I have log x over 3. This will now be equal to 3 log 3. So from here, it is obvious that we can compare what we are having now, right? Okay, so we're going to compare this and this, then compare the log and this. So we can say that x over 3 should be equal to 3. And in that case, x will be equal to 3 times 3, and our x is equal to 9, right? Now, 
if you start with if you want to pick out the logs then you will be having um you'll be having log x over 3 to be equal to log 3 okay i'm writing out of sight right so if i pick out the logs this is what i'll be having right but this is to log 10 and log 10 i mean to be 10 right so log to be 10 can cancel log to be 10 so that x over 3 will be equal to 3 again and this means that x is equal to 3 times 3 and then our x is equal to 9 and that's what we got before right so let's confirm what we have got let's verify okay so we're having x to be 9 right so that means we have 3 into bracket 9 to the power of 9 okay x is 9 the power is still 9 and that will be equal to 3 to the power of 9 plus 10 now from here we have from 3 Multiply by 9 to the power of 9 equal to 3 to the power of 19. Now, what do I do from here? Remember that this 9, okay, I can work on this. So, that I'll have 3, then 9 is 3 squared. Then we have power of 9 on the outside equals 3 to the power of 19. So we have 3 into bracket 3 to the power of 2 times 9 is 18. Now do you think this is equal to 3 to the power of 19? Okay, now this has power of 1. So you pick one of the bases, we have 3. Then 1 plus 18 is 19. And that is equal to 3 to the power of 19 on the right. So we have confirmed that x to be equal to 9 satisfies the equation. Thank you for watching. If you love this video, subscribe to my channel and share this to your friends. Thank you for watching.